earned master degree of the Purdue School as a Lee from Gyeongsang National University. I will announce of the carbon nanotube cellulose nanocrystal composite of paper functionalist with various methods for improved hypocity, performance, and behavior. Let's start it. As the content, introduction, experiment details, results, and analysis, and conclusion in turn. First of all, introduction. The introduction part will be shown about the expected materials, what it what it is, how it works, or how it looks like, something like that. The first one is carbon nanotube. Carbon nanotubes are most important material in my paper. Researcher as various application has studied CNTs. It can be used for biology, electrodes, or counseling even medicine side. So this Material catalyst leak is a uh, can compose of carbon nanotubes are composed of goodly strong sp2 hybrid bonds to pre provide unique strength strength electrical properties by high bonds and high summer conductivity around the tube access as sp2 bonds. So. And we expected goodly properties such as summer conductivity, electrical conductivity, and as you can see that it has a really unique structure. Also, if the workers or researchers do chemical reaction for the attached the functional groups, it can be developed more powerful material as you want, and it's gonna it's gonna affect which can control their performance as you want and we pick the virtual CMT because it is cheaper than the single CMT so it's excellent economically and also we can produce the um, seed or paper by this virtual CMT which is called it bucket paper like pig and two the bucket paper is produced by a tangled uh, carbon nanotube like this and has excellent durability and can be used as a TIM material. Second of all is cellulose nanocrystal. This material has a high aspect ratio and high complexity characteristic of structure that is effective to goodly disposability. Thus, it has structure advantages such as excellent mechanical properties like Low density and low density. So it works from the cellulose, and we can obtain the isolation of the cellulose by acid hydrolysis, usually using the sulfuric acid on base. Also, it is composite, composite of OH functional groups, so it has excellent hydro hydrophilicity. I was expecting this performance. Uh, from always functional group. In summary, it is low density, high strength, and elasticity, eco friendly because it came from wood or tree. And last, goodly property is hydrophilicity from the always functional group. And third, I will explain which is used the measurement to experiment the world drop world angle for hydrophilic or hydrophobic. The contact angle is an optical measurement of the standard used drop shape that is measured to know fluid characteristic as a hydrophobic or hydrophilic. If in the steady contact angle the deposit drop lies on the surface of a solid like baseline. So as you can see, if the drop shape bigger than 90, 90 degree, it's say hydrophobic and smaller than uh, 90 degree, it can be say hydrophobic characteristic. So next one is experiment details. The first explanation is about the how how uh, how manufacture the various nanofluids before the manufacturing bucket papers. 
There are two ways for modifying virtual CNC surface. First of all is using the nitric acid, sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, like figure five, is using, uh, so we call it that oxidized virtual CNT, namely all CNT. Second of all is using potassium persulfate and NaOH, NaOH, like figure six. We call it that alkalis virtual CNT, namely ACNT. Or can introduce functional groups to the CNT surface and tube. So, oxidation is easy to handle and a common method. The alkalization is eco friendly and more simple method. So, we will compare the bucket paper produced by these two methods with the pristine bucket paper. The case of the pristine virtual CNT do nothing. Just only ultra sunny cake can it for a minute because we need to focus their own performance so that the um, safe dispersion method for like ultra sonification. So we also added the CNC to improve the durability that virtual CNT allow lots. The most to look forward to be how the high complexity of the CNT with the rich test of rich highly uh, rich OH groups will work. After this, after this vessel, we functional, we manufacture in a monofluid condition for bucket paper as figure eight. Then this solution is filtered to produce bucket paper. Before the contact angle measure, we need to adjust it then because first it, can, it is too big to experiment the word drop because word drop going to suck it in between tubes. So we consider that effect the result. So there is there are the reasons for uh, the accuracy of the contact angle to prevent super saturation of um, fluid absorption on the surface for the application of mini lateralization. So before the contact angle, so we just adjust it to their size like 77 millimeter to 10 millimeter like figure 9. So next one is lizard and analysis. You can check each, this one, this is every, everyone is pocket papers. So you can check each pocket paper, like an image, CSC, there is two. A is, uh, A is alkalis pocket paper, B is low type, C is oxidized type. When comparing each, low CNTs did not undergo any oxidation or alkalization, so impurity and unstable tubes were exist. By the way, figure A and C doesn't have a uh, impurity of impurity and unstable tubes than low CNT. So we can say that oxidation and alkalization not only are cis remove the impurities but also have durability when manufacturing pocket paper. There's impurity like look at the figure point B. And next and we we can check each tube condition by the temp image. Unlike uh, low CNT that contains impurities, the figure C it can be seen that the inner surface is clean and the tubes are TV like figure A or and B. The chemical treatment stains out dispersibility too. Look at the figure 20 and 13. The chemical treatment stand out in dispersibility uh, or dispersion. It shows improved dispersibility and stability compared to low CNT by UV test. 
when CNC is added, the dispersibility tends to be further improved. Increasing dispersion is the impurities and the boundary walls both are controlled through the chemical treatment. And electrical conductivity input with the CNC. This means stimulus inter interaction between CNT and CNC. Last of all, we should check how, how to work the chemical treatment on the tube surface that is attached to the functional group or the check damage to, to the tubes. We did the FTIR and Raman spectroscopy. Look at the peak of 50. You can see everywhere that the peak value has rise after chemical treatment. The point to be not here is when comparing oxidation treatment and alkalization treatment. In this case, in the case of oxidation, it can be seen the, that the OH group appears on stretch. And in the case of alkalization, it can be seen the uh, stretch of CC double bonding is remarkable. Oh, sorry. It, figure 60 is a Lama spectrum. It is divided into D band, G band, and G tap band. The values of IB divide IC for the all CNTs are large than for low CNTs. The largest ratio being observed for all CNT. But there was different trend is observed by alkalization. The Ratio of the D band, D and a G band. The chemical surface modification in this breeze uh, depends in the virtual CNT structure. But as you can see from 10 images, we check the smaller depends A CNT than O CNT. Double compared to low CNT and A CNT with Clean impurity has a small value and low CNT with impurity high has a high values. In addition, it was compared that O CNT, which was attacked by a strong acid, had, had the largest damage to the tube. The last one here is the uh, smaller the value is small value. Small, uh, small value is the more hydrophilic city. So, bucket paper with the best hydrophilic city is manufactured with OCNT with the CNC at 73.47 uh, 43 degrees. Secondly, the alkalization CNT and with CNC are combined. CNC uh, manufactured the uh, bucket paper and the hydrophilicity is increased by more than 1.5 times compared to the case of nothing added, not adding the with the CNC. Also, in the case of pristine CNC bucket paper, since it was not affected by surface modification, it showed a strong hydrophobic tendency of more than. 90 degrees. The next one, last of our uh, conclusion. So, alkali treatment assists to modify the surface of the CND tubes and it shows hydro, high hydrophilicity due to the introduction of functional groups. Oxidation treatment assists the, to modify the surface of the sand tubes, but it could be compared compared that the tubes were damaged to do a strong acid attack attacking. It shows high high hydrophilicity due to the introduction of functional groups as alkalization. In the chemically treatment, virtual CNT, the presence of the chemical 
functional groups could be determined. It can be seen the various various in chemical composition not only improve dispersion but also improve stability and electrical conductivity. By adding CNC as a dispersion, dispersibility is improved, also stability and electrical conductivity. The hydrophilic performance could be further developed through the OH group, which is unique chemical composition of the CNC. In addition, the hydrophilic property of virtual CNT, which is were not originally processed through chemical treatment and the interaction with CNC can further enhance the hydrophilic city properties. So the bucket paper with hydrophilic performance will be um, excellent material for application with carrying nano size hydrophilic or micro surface. So thank you for listening my presentation. So and if you guys have some question, let me know the below the email address. So thank you for attending me.